Hey everyone, my name is Lance, and I create awesome activities for Galileo that help kids to grow as innovators. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this super fun jumping frog project. The way it works is that these rubber bands get stretched as you unfold these two cardboard squares. When you let go, the rubber bands pull the cardboard back together and launch it up into the air. And by adding a little bit of weight and changing where you add it and how much weight you add, you can make the frog do flips or jump sideways. So we're gonna use that idea to achieve at least two challenges. Challenge number one, make the frog do as many flips as possible. And challenge number two, make the frog jump sideways onto a box. And finally, if you're feeling especially ambitious, there is a bonus challenge of making some paper legs so that the frog lands on its feet at least two times in a row. For all three of these challenges, you'll need to be reflective by thinking carefully about how the weight is changing the way the frog jumps and thoughtfully redesigning to better achieve the goals. Okay, let's get started. All you need is a piece of cardboard, one or two regular rubber bands, scissors and some masking tape, a few pennies or other coins, and finally an index card or some other stiff paper. If you don't have an index card, some regular white printer paper can also work. First, cut the cardboard into two 5 inch by 5 inch squares. An adult might need to do this step. Then look at the cardboard and find the edges that have the open corrugations. Line up those edges and then tape it together on both sides. By lining up the corrugations, it'll help prevent the cardboard from bending where it shouldn't. Next, we'll attach the rubber bands by putting a piece of tape through a rubber band, folding the tape onto itself while making sure that there's a little bit of sticky part still hanging off the end. Tape that onto the edge of the cardboard, like this. Then add one or two more layers of tape so that the rubber band doesn't tear through it. Repeat and tape the rubber band to the other side of the cardboard as well. One rubber band will work, but I recommend adding on two rubber bands to make the frog jump even higher. And at any point, if you want, you can color on a frog face. To use it, pull the cardboard open and keep going until it's folded in half. Use one hand to hold it down and then let go. If one of the rubber bands breaks, you can just fold a piece of tape over it and then stick it back on. Once you get your frog jumping, you can try taking on one of the two challenges by taping on pennies for a little bit of weight and noticing how it changes the way it jumps. Okay, here I am taking on the first challenge of making the frog do as many flips as possible. Well, that worked a little bit, but I think I can be reflective by changing where the weight is and noticing how that changes the way the frog jumps. Okay, let's see. Hmm, that changed how it jumped, but it didn't do more flips. Let's see what happens if I add on more weight. Whoa, that worked way better. After you've achieved that challenge, you can try the next one of getting the frog to jump up onto a box. You'll need to be reflective again because the weights from the first challenge probably won't help with the second one. Let's see, I'm gonna try moving the weights to a different spot and test again. Hey, that worked! And finally, the bonus challenge of getting the frog to land on its feet two times in a row. To make some feet, cut off a strip of your index card and fold it in half, hot dog style. Then, snip the ends and fold up those tabs. And then tape those onto the cardboard, like this. Then repeat one more time. Test it out and see if you can get the frog to land on its feet at least two times in a row. If it doesn't, try adding on and moving around the weight to see how that changes where it lands. All right, that's it for this video. If you made a jumping frog, we would love to see it. So please share a photo or video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, let's try adding on four rubber bands. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, definitely try at your own risk. That one hit the ceiling. Turns out you can also play the game and catch the frog. Oh. <laughs>